What's going on guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at optics to noise in but without an RTX card. Yes, because in my system right now I have a DTX 1070 and that's been my main graphics card for a while. So we're going to be taking a look at the optics denoising, doing some render tests and also seeing what the performance is like in a viewport if you can even use it in a viewport. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are in Blender and we have this scene here. Shout out to Sky. Sky said they wanted to see the art that was featured in the thumbnail. So here we are, we have it here. <laughs> okay, so here we have the scene that I've created. As you can see, it looks sensational. But I'm basically cheating the perspective because if I come out, you can see, whoa, we have all of these gaps. However, if I put the camera back and I move it only slightly. You can see we can still get some pretty good perspective shots if I move the camera carefully. Uh, welcome to TV and film guys. So <laughs> anyway, that's not what this video is about. This video is about optics denoising. So this is what it currently looks like without any denoising whatsoever. We're using cycles, of course, and it's not bad. There's a little bit of noise, but it's it's workable. I can move things around and see exactly what the image is potentially going to look like, right? So now we're going to go to optics denoising and we're going to turn it on. So I'm going to go to the render properties, denoising, viewport. I'm going to change it to optics. Click viewport and give it a few seconds to load. Oh, this is taking a little bit. Okay, here we are. Okay, this looks kind of crazy. <laughs> this looks super crazy. Right now, it kind of it looks like a painting, actually. I kind of like it. I'm not going to lie to you. I kind of like it. I've got the start sample at one, so it renders straight away. And as you can see, it looks, it looks really good. It looks really clean, in fact. It looks really, really clean. If I move it about, see what it looks like. Yeah, that's actually not bad. It's it's denoising really, really quickly. Again, I do not have an RTX card. I repeat, I do not have an RTX card. This is with a GTX 1070 and it's looking really, really good. In fact, so let me get rid of the HDRI. I zoom in a little bit. That's actually looking pretty impressive. Put the HDRI back. See how it affects performance. It doesn't affect it that much, if at all, really. This is looking, I'm quite surprised, pleasantly surprised at that. Okay, so we're going to do some render tests. I'm going to render this exact image using Optics Denoiser without an RTX card. I'm going to render it at one sample. 10 samples, 100 samples, and then maybe 600 samples. So here are the results. So here you can see we have one sample. Not bad, quite painterly. You've got 10 samples, slightly better, and 100 samples. I think this is the most usable. Tell me which one you think and which one you prefer. I'm gonna have all three of them back up so you can see. And of course, this is the one with 600 samples in the ultra wide setting. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. To be quite honest with you, you could really get away with any of them depending on what your project calls for. Whether it's going to be like a painterly fill, whether you want realism. I think you can actually, if you wanted a middle point, I think you can get away with 100 samples. But let's check out a different scene. We have this scene here, which is not too bad. At the moment, it's working pretty well. As you can see, it's quite noisy though. So we're going to put optics to noise on in a second. Let's see what that looks like. Again, it's taking a little bit of time. Again, we get this kind of like painterly fill, which is... It's actually quite nice. It goes quite well with the aesthetic. We're going to give it a bit more time to render a few more samples of the noise and see how it looks. It's not bad at all. To be quite honest with you, I'm, I'm actually quite happy with that. All right, let's switch up a little bit. Let's add some smoke, some haze into the effects. I'm taking the noise off and I'm going to add a little bit of smoke and fog. Let's really push the system and see how it's going to perform. So as you can see, we have a load of fly fires. There's a lot of noise, ridiculous amount of noise in this image, but it is still workable. I could probably still move things around and get an overall image of what this picture is going to look like, this render is going to look like when it's done. Now that we've given it some time, let's put on the optics denoise and see how it's going to perform. Okay, here we are. It's working its magic. It's not doing bad, not doing bad. It's a little bit soft at the moment, but let's give it some time. And as you can see here, it looks a little bit wonky. Okay. 
That's not bad. There's still a little bit of noise here. But we'll give it a bit of time. We'll give it a little bit of time to render a few more samples. To be honest, this is quite clean. This is quite clean. I could easily, after the fact, probably put it into DaVinci Resolve or even Photoshop and clean up a little bit more of the noise. Or even if I throw more samples at it, potentially it'll do a lot better. But this is way better than without the optics. Way, way better. Let's move the camera around. Yeah. Hmm. Not bad. Pretty impressed. It's quite slow. I would expect that. We're using the GTX. Let's take off optics. Hopefully this doesn't crash. Don't crash Blender, please. I have faith in you. That's not bad. So this is workable again. But there's noise galore. There's literally noise everywhere. Turn back on optics. Gonna take a few seconds yet again, of course. And bang, straight away you can see Bang's working his magic, cleaning up a lot of that noise. I don't know if you'll be able to see with YouTube compression, but we have a little bit of noise here, a little bit of noise here, here, and up here. But to be quite honest with you, this is way better, way better than without it. I think it definitely has its place and definitely has its uses. I would potentially use this a lot of the time really if i wanted to get a quick preview of what everything looks like would i say it's as fast as ev probably not but it does good it does very well to put together an image let me see how well it does with um depth of field so we have this scene here optics is off by the way this is what it looks like with without any optics without any denizing so far so good taking a little bit of time but depth of field here a lot of depth of field here got a character here so I'm going to turn on denoising now. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see how it handles that for Phil, shall we? Okay, here we are. Straight away, it's not too bad. It's getting rid of a lot of the color noise, as you can see. It's not bad. Again, it's workable. You can't really see the details in his face and the eyes. You can't really see that just yet. But in terms of an overall perspective of an image, this is pretty, pretty good. It's clean. Now I don't see really any noise at all. And it's handling depth of field pretty well. My concern with this was that it wouldn't handle depth of field and it wouldn't handle smoke very well. And as you can see, it's handling it very, very, very well. Okay, as you see, we have this scene here. This is going to be the next tutorial or it might be out. So check the description below and I'll let you know whether this video is out or not. I'll show you how to create all of this. Okay, so we have this. I'm going to just pan around. I'm going to lock camera to view and I'm just going to pan around. And you can see how long it takes. Okay, not bad. Okay, it's pretty quick. There's a little bit of noise, but it's not crazy. I can spin around, no problem. We're gonna turn on optics to noise in. Wow, that's fast. That's extremely fast. This is workable, this is extremely workable. I would 100% turn on denoising for this scene. There's no noise whatsoever and it's previewing exceptionally quick. This is what I would expect if I had like four GPUs in my system, how fast the performance would be. It looks really, really good. I'm genuinely impressed. Let's turn off denoising for a second. Yeah. Not bad. A few fly fives. Does look quite clean. There's no denoising. There's a bunch of noise right here. Let's turn it back on. Bang, noise is gone, image is absolutely clean. Perfect, let's do one more scene before we go. Here we have another scene. It's backlit this time, so there's light coming from behind. As you can see, spilling onto the clothes. Right now, we're in cycles, there isn't actually that much noise. It looks pretty nice at the moment. So let's check it with the optics to noise in it. Bang, straight away you can see it's clean. So it handles backlit sources very well also. So overall, I think, I think optics is worth it. I think it really is worth it. Optics denoising works and it works fine. Even if you have a card which is not an RTX card, you're honestly fine. It works perfectly. It may be a little bit slow to render, but it's not as slow 
as <laughs> it's not as slow as having it without. You can literally check your scene, move things around, and it updates fairly quickly. Also, in terms of rendering, I think it depends on the image. I'd probably say 100 samples with the optics denoiser is safe. You can get a decent looking image, low noise, a semi painterly feel. So I think 100 samples is a sweet spot. If you wanted to go up higher, maybe 400, great. But I think 100 samples is the lowest you can get away with. Anyway, guys, if you found this video useful, let me know in the comments below. Don't subscribe, you don't have to subscribe, you know, it's okay. Also, let me know what GPU you have and if you're going to end up using this effect. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next tutorial.